Hey folks, how's it going? It's Game Webcam. Now today we are actually going to be checking out another alt Roblox platform. This alt Roblox platform is called Polytoria. Now the reason why I am playing this is that on my last Brick Hill video that I have made where I voice out a lot of my criticisms that I've had for the platform and been holding them back for a while, I noticed that a lot of people in the comments have been making uh, suggestions for other alt Roblox platforms to me uh, to try out. And that video actually got a ton of comments in general, so I'm glad that the video is sparking a lot of discussion because honestly, I believe not enough discussion is being uh, made around how the new client is being developed and all that sort of stuff. And I really would like more of my videos to accomplish this. But anyways, one of the new alt Roblox platforms that I'll, that has been suggested to me is Polytoria. And apparently Polytoria is another alt Roblox platform that uh, is supposed to be uh, competing with other platforms such as Brick Hill, Brick Planet, etc. And I'm pretty sure there are uh, definitely a lot more out there, such as Finobi and all that sort of stuff. And I will be trying Finobi in the future because I do have an account on Finobi. Uh, but I'm going to be trying out Polytoria first before I try out Finobi. So I just made an account on Polytoria. So this is the avatar that I was given when I first created this account. This is some status posts that I just posted. So as we can already see, Polytoria does use a dual currency system like old Roblox used to. So the two currencies that are named here are studs and bricks. So I'm assuming that studs is the free currency which allows people who don't pay to get purchasing power and bricks are going to be the premium currency here. Uh, so one thing that's already different is that uh, for each daily login that you do, you actually receive 15 studs instead of the 10 freemium currency that you used to with tickets on Roblox and uh, the 10 bits that you do on Brick Hill. So one of the big selling points of Polytoria, it seems, is that it has compatibility for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, Roblox, for reference, has support for Windows and Mac, but Roblox does not actually have any support for Linux. So, I think that is one edge that Polytoria has over even Roblox, is the fact that they have Linux support will have an appeal to probably Linux gamers. Okay, so I'm guessing they're making, they've made a new client and they're working on the Mac OS and Linux versions. They finished the Windows version, uh, but they uh, are working on the Mac OS and Linux versions. And if you haven't noticed in my recording already, I am playing this with Windows 11. There's a good chance that this game may not work on at all because I am running Windows 11. Uh, let's look at some other things of the website here. So here are the game. Here's the games page right here. This is where you, uh, also download the client and stuff. So, yep. Okay. So, so far it seems that there is a featured section of like the best games that they have on Polytoria here. So I'm guessing that these are going to be the best showcase games right here. I'm, well, I'm going to guess that these are handpicked by, uh, the staff, uh, who work at Polytoria, so, um, that's awesome that they are, in, uh, giving the concept of game discoverability in this game. I mean, this is a pretty small platform, but I still like, uh, think they're, that, I still like the fact that they're thinking ahead. Uh, so, there's also a forum, uh, which is the main reason why a lot of alt Roblox platforms get attention, is because they have a forum. Uh, okay, so Willem Steller, I've seen this name a lot. I'm guessing this is the person behind Polytoria. Hi there, I'm the creator of Polytoria. Alright, so... <laughs> Yo, why does this avatar give me sugar daddy vibes? <laughs> Maybe it's because of that facial hair and the glasses he's wearing. It definitely gives sugar daddy vibes, and I, I, to be honest, I'm kind of for it. Guilds, which I'm pretty sure are going to be the groups, where we'll join a few of them in this video. So, okay, so this is an individual comment wall 
for uh, individual profiles. So if I wanted to, I could possibly leave a comment on this person's profile and uh, it will show up on their profile. Maybe there needs to be an approval process. I'm just gonna type in, hi. Okay, so there's my message. It's now on Will's wall. There you go, I hope you're happy. There's some accessories that you can get, uh, which we'll check out right now. Let's check out the, uh, where's the catalog? Uh, shop. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm guessing here's all the accessories that you can, uh, buy from Polytoria. These are uniquely modeled and textured by themselves. I'm glad that they're doing that because some alt Roblox platforms straight up rip the assets directly from Roblox, which... But I'm glad that, like Brick Hill, Polytoria uh, models and textures their own assets, which is very nice. Uh, let's see um, if they have any free items. Is there any way I could sort by free? No, there isn't. Um, okay. I wish there was a way to more easily access the free items, so that way, those of for those who don't have a whole lot of uh, money yet or are very brand new to the website, they will at least have some options to choose from and be able to customize their avatar. That would be nice. I tried messaging myself and that led to a bug. So maybe uh, not have <laughs> these options if this is your own profile. Your account must be at least three days old to post. Okay, so I guess we are not doing the forums today, so yep, we... I understand why they have this filter, it's just to prevent people from spamming. Uh, uh, let's look at the guilds. Um, name Snipe, which, and rare usernames, those are ob obviously gotta be the top two clans for whatever re reason. Screw it, let's join the official guild, why not? So if you've been noticing, uh, there's this yellow border that appears whenever I put my cursor to the edge of the screen. That is because I have this application sandboxed. Because I need to be very careful when trying out alt Roblox platforms and their clients. Because I do not know how these clients are implemented. And these are very, un very unpopular platforms. So... For all I know, these these clients could possibly have malware in them. So I'm trying to be very careful from now on on executing uh, these clients and make sure that I'm making myself more secure when running them. I should have done this with Brick Hill when I was trying out Brick Hill for the first time, but I was fortunate enough for Brick Hill to be a safe platform. But I should have 100% have done this for Brick Hill as well. All right, so it seems like this game is made in Unity because I've seen Unity Crash Handler 64. So it's clear that the engine for Polytoria is made in Unity. All right, so I think now that I know upon first launch that this is going to be a Unity game, I think we're going to be fine here. Um, it disconnected me uh, for a second, so let's try this again. Let me play! Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. All right, so it turns out that the actual issue of why I'm not able to connect to any of these games is because the servers are getting upgraded. So I'm glad that this alt Roblox platform uh, actually hosts games on their dedicated servers. Uh, they don't self-host servers like Brick Hill does. So when you make a game on this platform, it will be hosted on their servers, which is actually kind of cool. I really like that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to return this to this video in a couple of days because I currently cannot play any Polytoria games at the moment. And probably when I am able to play these games again, uh, I'll probably also be able to try out the forums because I can't post on the forums because my account's too new. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be end of the recording for now. All right, so five days later, I think it's five days later at least,
the servers for Polytoria are now back up. So it did take a little bit longer than anticipated because I joined the Discord server and then they said that they were going to restore the servers in about two days. But five days later, the servers are now back up and now we can continue playing games. But before we do that, uh, I want to talk about a few changes that I've done over uh, while I was gone. I now have this brand new outfit because basically I went dumpster diving in the shop and got every free accessory that you can possibly get from Polytoria. I also discovered that Polytoria's former name before it was called Polytoria was named Superium. Uh, which I think is a very interesting fact if you did not know about that. But yeah, there these are all the free hats you can get. There are some free faces you can get as well. There's a sad face for if you feel depressed. And then there's a calm face, which looks like he wants to get it on with someone. Um, there's a water bottle and all that sort of stuff. Now, the only things I did actually buy, I believe, was the realistic pants. There were some actual good jeans on the log, but they were stolen from Roblox. I don't want to wear stolen clothing, so I decided to not get it. But this is my new uh, outfit that I decided to make. I just bought some simple clothes and I just made a simple outfit and that is that. Also, I did make a few forum posts. Now, I made these forum posts uh, hours in advance. Uh, so I didn't record myself making these forum posts because unlike Brick Hill, uh, the forum on Polytoria is a lot slower than uh, the forum on Brick Hill. So of course I made my threads hours in advance, uh, assuming that uh, it's go it was going to take a while for people to uh, reply to my threads. So. Uh, so it does seem like we got some responses. Um, uh, what is this? It's, is my fancy name fancy? Magic, I, I guess. Yes, your name is quite fancy. So this is the first thread that I made. I just made an off-topic thread called We Only Meet on Internet Forums and Discord Servers. And I said, I heard that having fancy names for threads makes you seem cooler. And then I talk about how this is my thir first thread. I don't know, it's pretty much nothing much to add on here. So I noticed that uh, Polytoria forums, unlike other forums, they have this thing called Reputation where uh, you can gather an overall uh, reputation for uh, whether you are a good person on the forums or whether you are a bad person on the forums. Uh, this is something that Brick Hill does not have. I probably will not be posting on the forums that often, so even if I do have a negative reputation at the end of the day, uh, I don't really care. Um, because why should I care? Now the second forum post uh, is on this sub forum because surprisingly enough there is a sub forum dedicated to raiding uh, Polytoria avatars and this got me interested because uh, you could actually create like different outfits and you could go on, the, on a sub forum and have them raided by other people so that's kind of fun. Uh, so, ten hours later, we have one reply, uh, let's see. I really wish it was a tad bit more creative, but I really like how it looks. Give, gives me a lumber- <laughs> the, I, I think that's supposed to say Tycoon, but, uh, they thought that he was saying the racial slur. Oh my god, that is actually hilarious. You know what, that, that is actually hilarious. You know what? Have a, have a reputation point, my guy. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so now you should be caught up on all of that. That's pretty much all that I really did while I was gone. I also made a few new friends on my profile. Because uh, they noticed me on the Discord servers. You can say hi to them. Say hi. Alright, and a minute later, uh, after updating the client and all that sort of stuff, we are now trying to get into the game. Hopefully this doesn't fail this time. And we are in! What is up? Okay, so now we we have our clothing, we got our hats. 
I notice that there's a little bit of uh, artifacts. So there's some visual artifacts going on here. This is probably because uh, it's being done to save some. I'm guessing this is being done to say uh, for performance. Uh, but yeah, this is my avatar right here. The walking animation, pretty Roblox-like. There's nothing that really stands out much here. Okay, climbing up steps. That's a little abrupt, but all right, we 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 chill, we chill. Um, we got some circular studs going on here. Not 3D, but okay. Although, I will say they do reflect off in the light pretty nicely, though. Uh, as you can see, there's the Unity Sun right there, along with the Unity Skybox. So, uh, yeah, you can definitely tell that this is, this is made in Unity. Alright, so there's some audio. Uh, whenever you jump in this game, uh, it makes a little hopping sound that's that's pretty neat so you can there's definitely audio in this game i kind of like that um <laughs> uh can i go in here no i cannot i cannot go in here um it seems like a lot of this game is under construction this is supposed to be the first place you can play in Politoria. this is uh supposed to be Politoria city uh, which is made by the official creator of Poly Polytoria themselves. So, uh, the game doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but obviously, uh, I guess it suffices pretty well. There's some level of detail right there with the shadow system. You can see the level of detail going on there. Um, okay, so here we go. We got a nice little menu. Uh, can we take a screenshot? How do we, uh... Where do screenshots get saved? Um, I, I guess we'll, we'll have to figure that out soon enough. Uh, there's depth of field, which makes farther things quite blurry. Ooh, there's bloom. So now you got pretty much RTX on. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. Okay, that's a little too, um, it's a little too bright for my liking. Um, alright, so we're on the highest quality preset. Yeah, there's not really that much to, uh, configure here. There's a reset character option, which I'm missing. <laughs> I just lie down on the floor and die. <laughs> no, I gotta see this again. <laughs> into the air are you serious no no this <laughs> oh that's so stupid oh my goodness oh my god bro <laughs> i really love the death animation it's so stupid it's kind of funny Man, this is a, a way better client experience already than Brick Hill. This kind of reminds me of Brick Player, because Brick Player was also made using Unity. But fun fact about the developers, one of the developers for this client is actually Alex. And if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, Alex was one of the developers who was working on Brick Planet Patch before it got shut down. I'll probably have a video talking about Brick Planet Patch shut down uh, in the top right corner. You can go ahead and uh, watch it for yourself. That game was pretty fun, but of course there's not a whole lot you can do in that game, but let's try something else here. Launching the window is a little strange. I kind of like this loading screen though. This loading screen is kind of nice. Um, all right, here we go. So here we are in a, uh, a map. All right, let's go. All right, sick. Uh, we already are getting past a lot of the obstacle courses. Oh, and I fell down, sick. All right, here we go. So now we just completed the easiest uh, difficulty for this game. All right. So far, so good. 
Um, I didn't even have to jump out on that at all. Up oh, and I fell. Sick. So it doesn't seem like there's any official respawn system in place. Uh, I'm guessing there's no teams or whatever. I heard that this game currently at the moment does not have any scripting features and that is currently in beta right now. So I'm, I'm hoping to... Ho I'm hoping to see the future for this game to get scripting abilities, because I know at the moment there is no scripting abilities in this game at the moment. So, as, as you can tell, what you could make in Polytoria is quite limited. I mean, you can't even die on the lava, because of course there's no script that says that it can kill you. Okay, that was kind of weird. I don't know why the loading screen just flickered right there. Let's just pretend these are lava parts and just jump over them. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so that's another difficulty that we have successfully completed. Alright, easy, easy. Again, a pretty tight tightrope, but no problem with that. I've seen that there's a little cheating method that you can take if you can't seem to do this obstacle. I hope there's no way that you can actually softlock in this game, uh, uh softlock with Polytoria. Because, uh, there is a, definitely, uh, one way you can softlock yourself in Brick Hill. Uh, if you definitely get your head squeezed in between two parts on Brick Hill, you definitely get stuck and you're pretty much softlocked. And the only way that you can solve that problem is to leave the game and rejoin. Alright, I failed that pretty badly, so let's try again. Movement's a little, little finicky, because there's some moments where uh, the movement just abruptly stops. So the movement's not entirely the most smooth, um, but it's definitely pretty good for the most part. Done. Um. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, for f sake. The job height's a little, uh, small. It's pretty small for, uh, a jump height, but hey. Not everything has to be accurate. Oh, for, for God's sakes. Alright, let me try this in first person. Alright, I'm trying this in first person because I think two I think third person is gonna be way too hard for this. I keep getting stuck on the walls. Like if I if I'm facing towards the wall in any way, shape, or form, I keep getting stuck in it. And it's so annoying. Okay, yeah, for some reason I didn't jump there, but whatever. My jump sounds are now incredibly loud, so I'm guessing that's because uh, there's 3D sound enabled. I noticed that there's also a little silhouette. There's a little, um, I don't know what it is called. It's not, I don't think it's called silhouette. Uh, I don't remember the name for it. But I'm noticing that's on my screen, and that's probably because I'm in a dark location. Alright, here we go. Let me up! Oh my god, that's a good second. Oh my god, we have to keep doing this? Are you serious? Oh my Jesus. This is just the patience test. I swear to god, I'm not even lying. Okay, I beat that. It seems like it's getting shorter over time though. There's less of them that we have to encounter. Oh my Jesus, the jump momentum like abruptly canceled out. It was so weird. Oh my God, okay, I did it. Let's go. All right, so that was that difficulty completed. All right, so now we're on insane. All right, how bad can this be? Oh my God, I missed that. <laughs> Oh 
Oh boy, here we go. Another tower. How wonderful. Oh my god, stop falling off. Oh, what the- <laughs> I'm sorry, what did I just see? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. So, can I just literally cheese this? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I just cheesed the entire level. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I just cheesed the entire level. Alright, here we go. Impossible. Okay, sure, buddy. Wow, baby. Wow, that was so impossible. So hard. Why do obbies when you could literally just cheese everything? Oh my god, I thought I got softlocked for a second. I actually thought I got softlocked. <laughs>
So, one of the things I'm noticing about Polytoria so far is that, like Brick Hill, almost nobody is playing uh, the games, and I'm pretty sure that's because you can't script in these games at the moment, so there's no reason to actually play the games. So, of course, when you take a look at the games uh, themselves, like, you'll notice that it's like an absolute graveyard when it comes to, like, the player base and everything because nobody is actually going out of their way to play many of the games but i don't know the map is kind of nice i kind of like the map i wish there was a way though to like uh have settings for the render distance so uh because i noticed that if you get far away enough from like certain parts and stuff they just completely disappear uh regardless of how far you are so I wonder if there's going to be like a specific setting in the future to like be able to change the render distance so that way I could see things much farther away uh, and be able to experience more experience sets and all that sort of stuff. Another funny glitch that I'm noticing is that when you jump and you spin the camera Great sound engine. We love the Doppler effect in action. All right, I think that's all that's gonna do for this video. Uh, there really isn't a whole lot of entertaining games out there, probably because of the fact that scripting is currently not possible at the moment. But I will be glad to make a few follow-up episodes on this platform, uh, especially when a scripting update is released for the game because i would love to see how um scripting would affect a platform like this considering that they are going for lua uh and their api has some similarities to the roblox api it would be very interesting to actually try and develop a game on polytoria and see how well, that could possibly perform under uh, this service. Because after all, this game does use its own dedicated servers, and I would love to see uh, what could be accomplished using the Polytoria scripting. If you want to see that, if you actually want to see that video in the future, all you have to do is leave a like on this video, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified for any future upload that I make on this channel. And that's all I have to say. This is Game Webcam, and take care.